Well, well, hi there, both of you. Congratulations um, on Career as Folk. I absolutely Thank you. love the series. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, Jesse, uh, your character, um, Ruthie, has a line towards the beginning where um, she says something like, um, trans and toxic, it's intersectionality, bitch. <laughs> trans and toxic, it's called intersectionality, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which I loved and I I think in some ways it kind of s- sums up the you know the approach to the to the whole series but but anyway as far as your character goes what did you um sort of relish about the chance to play such sort of nuanced character with sort of light and shade that's not defined by their identity you know I think a lot of the storytelling on this show um specifically with Ruthie you know she's she's messy and problematic and beautifully flawed just like myself, just like everyone I know and love, you know, um, her story is informed by her transness. It's not defined by it. And, uh, but in the same time, you know, working with Stephen Dunn and working with Jacqueline Moore, who Jacqueline's also a trans woman, um, it, it imbued this beautiful, natural authenticity into Ruthie that I think is so cool and so sexy. And I, I still get giddy every time I think about it. Mm. And um, CG, similarly, like Cher is not defined by their identity um, in any way either, and is equally allowed to be kind of messy. <laughs> what, what did you um, enjoy about um, inhabiting them and the way that the character was written? Uh, you know, the main thing that I enjoy the most is being able to embody a person that is so in themselves that nothing else can like waver them which in whatever direction they're going. I feel like that kind of confidence is pretty solid and uh, allows for just so much realness to be a part of. So I think Cher for that. Well, and also such a different confidence between Cher and Ruthie. Most, yeah, most like stuff. completely otherworldly different types of confidence. Yes, that's, and, and that's such a, a fascinating couple because there are lots of reasons why they should be together, but then you sort of say, oh, well, they sh- you know, maybe why they shouldn't be, or, or you know, just because, um, you know, and their lives have kind of been turned upside down a little bit by the arrival of the twins. <laughs> um, but, and as I say, it is, you know, there's a messiness there, but there's also a lot of love and a lot of, like, playfulness between them two. And what did you enjoy about creating that on-screen relationship um, together? Mm-hmm. I think CG approaches acting really differently than I do. And it's actually, I think I learned a lot getting to watch them perform because like they would do, do a line or a scene in a way that I never would have thought they would. And no matter what, I, I knew I could always trust them as a scene partner. And it comes with like being free to play within that trust, you know, like nothing, every take is not going to be the same, but there's still going to be the same essence behind it. And just being able to like move and groove in that with Jesse obviously came through. So, yes. And one of, and there are so many great moments in, in the series, but one of the most um, powerful episodes, I think, is where we get to see um, some flashback sequences of Ruthie. And I thought they were very delicately and very, very powerfully kind of handled. I wonder what um, you made of, of the writing of that, why it was important to kind of look back um, for the character and what that was like for you to, to portray. I mean, I cried reading the script for the first time. I think Jacqueline Moore wrote... A, an absolutely beautiful, touching script that uh, felt very true to my own lived experience. And um, I think a lot of queer people, specifically a lot of trans women, will be able to look at that and see a small part of themselves reflected. You know, um, the flashback scenes were, were challenging and I, I was definitely nervous about, about doing those. But uh, I fought for it. It was something I so actively hard. wanted to do. Um, and it, it pushed, it pushed my boundaries as an actor and my own comfort level so much. I learned so much throughout that process and I'm shook that it, it all came together the way it did. And the director of that episode, Ingrid, oh, so good. Jesse, CG, thanks so much. Congratulations again on the series. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.